Hello everyone, I'm Dyril, creator of TheAsianGamer.com. You could even say that I'm THE Asian Gamer. Ha. 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 Aww. Well, before we start, just letting you all know that this is my first time voicing a tutorial video, so, uh, forgiveness, please, if I speak it to poor English to you. <sighs> I can't even properly mock Asians, how sad is that? I'm also sorry if the ads around the site are a little distracting. That's just how we're able to pay off some of the research development and hosting costs. The intent of this video is to cover basic usage of our Diablo 3 damage calculator, which seems to have become pretty popular over the past three weeks. Estimates say about 100,000 people have seen and or tried the calculator, and about 30,000 of those people have even saved profiles stored in their browser. For now, the damage calculator is stickied on the home page, but in the event you don't see it on the home page, simply click the menu link labeled Damage Calculator at the top menu to be redirected to it. And if you're feeling bored, you could also read one of our blog articles around the site. We usually post random reviews, assorted news, just about anything we find interesting to write about. Well, if you've been here a few weeks ago and haven't been back since, we've made a lot of renovations to our damage calculator. We added the option to expand hide under each step to allow more user control over what they want to see. We've also improved a lot of the mathematics behind the calculations. Unless you're equipping weapons with the plus percent damage affix, single and dual wielding should be approximately 99.95% accurate. There are also little tooltips under most header sections that you can mouse over. I have conveniently drawn huge ugly blue arrows indicating which stats you need to worry about. If there's no arrow pointing at a particular affix on an item, as Donnie Brasco would say, forget about it. You can read most of the documentation by expanding creator notes and the change log on the top and bottom of the damage calculator. It may seem a little overwhelming at first with the huge grid of information you need to input, but trust me, it should only take about three to four minutes to set up. Once that's done, just save your profile and you're good to go for next time. I'm not going to actually sit here and input all of my information, but I'll show you what my saved profile looks like once I've loaded it. Here are my weapon stats. Currently I use a one-handed weapon and a shield, so the offhand weapon section is blank. I've read a lot of people freaking out about not having a source, mojo, quiver, etc. option in the drop-down menu. Well, those items don't have base attack speeds like weapons do, so a drop-down menu option for that is rather pointless. Use the offhand item slot, please. Once you do have a saved profile, looking up how big or small an item upgrade will only take about 20-30 seconds tops. I'm also going to show you one of the possible applications of this calculator. Let's look at this overpriced weapon here in the Diablo 3 auction house, Vanquishing Heaven Hand of Conflagration. Well, it's a fist weapon with 386 minimum damage, 889 maximum damage, and 11% increased attack speed. I'm going to select the fist weapon and put all the information clear out the crit damage that was on my previous weapon. After I input that information, I can minimize the section altogether. Then I can select what buffs I want to display. Let's see here, we already have Blazing Wrath. Okay, how about we choose an Enchantress too. Okay, now it's time to hit the Calculate button and see how much the damage would change with the new Fist Weapon. Whoa, huge downgrade. Yep, wouldn't ever pay 4 million for that Vanquishing Heaven Hand of Conflagration, but maybe someone will. Alright, that should give you a pretty good start on how to use the site's damage calculator. Feel free to play around with it, report any errors you see, and we'll look into it. We're always adding new features and trying to improve the interface. Just remember that, in order to use the load save feature on the site, you must enable saved cookies for your browser. The data is stored on your computer, not mine, and will last for 35 days on its own unless you handle it otherwise. If you delete your browser cache, poof! goes your save data. And if you like this site, don't forget to hit that like button on the bottom right. Tell your friends, spread the word. I exist.